Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hope you guys are enjoying these clips we had from the 10-year anniversary. Big thanks to our friends Looking for Group uh, for hosting that over in Brookline here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Check them out, lfgpgh.com. Good friends, and we hope to be doing some more fun stuff in the future with them. If nothing else, going down and playing with their virtual reality Oculus Rift stuff and watching <laughs> watching Jen Carlin's get scared and... And that, that, that's, that's just fun. Uh, but anyways, so it is time for the big question. Mr. Lunchbox, you got a big question. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mm. Uh, so Sunday, a tiny dream came true for me. And that tiny dream was AJ Styles. Mm-hmm. I like AJ Styles. I enjoy his work and from what I've seen in the past. And I'm glad that he can still go. He's still a a talented wrestler. And it was very exciting to see him in my favorite uh, wrestling event, the Royal Rumble. It was, uh, it was, and then he started facing all these guys and it's like, Oh wow. The the way I I would compare it is um, when you get a new action figure, you have to make it fight all your other action figures just to see how it goes in your, in your weird brain pan. Um, and, uh, and that's what it was like for me. It was like this new action figure. Get to see AJ Styles face off against all these guys. Uh, and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun for me. So my question to you guys um, is who is your dream Royal Rumble entrant? Who for you would produce stand-up shouting excitement this man is suddenly in the Royal Rumble and he's facing all these wrestlers that you know so well. Matchups that you never thought would happen. Uh, who who uh, would get you that excited? Who is your dream Royal Rumble entrant? Ooh. I'll go. I'll go. I mean, I mean, are we going kind of fantasy here or somebody active? Fantasy. Fantasy? Well, uh, no, active. Active? active. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, no, 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 okay. All right. No, I got. Like well, well, so, what was your fantasy? So well, my fantasy yeah, let's, was. Let's do, let's do one of each. Let's do one. Oh, okay. One completely beyond the realm of possibility, and one in reality. My fantasy is. Um. I mean, how many times you know? Uh, you know, classically, we went to Madison Square Garden and we saw John Cena come out when when he was prognosed to be you know several months out of being back, right? And, oh, geez, he's good to go, you know. I thought he was injured. I thought he'd never come back, you know. And I think the equivalent of that would be somehow, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out. Hmm. You know, whatever is wrong with him, they determine, okay, I can do this in such a way that I won't injure myself, right? Um, and, and and that happens. I You know, I, I, that's my, like, you know, miracle selection basically when it comes to that because i just i just stone cold seems like a guy that was taken away from us uh before he should have been you know we should still have him popping up and and doing like what chris jericho does what the rock does even to an extent what triple h does now um i i just think there would there there could have been so much more life in that uh as far as a practical somebody out there ah geez like, I kind of wish, the only one I can think of right now, because it feels like so much of this is kind of taken away, right? Like, AJ Styles, like, is there really anybody in TNA that you would have gotten as excited for as AJ Styles, right? And there's a few. There's a few, yeah. Uh, but I don't know that much. I wish Matt Seidel, as he is now, would come back and kind of get the AJ Styles treatment. As Matt Seidel, but not Evan Bourne. Exactly. Because I think there's that bad connotation to Evan Bourne because he was like flippy jobber guy, right? And and nothing really happened with him. And if he came back and he's just Matt Seidel. But we all know that would also mean that he's off the peyote and he probably won't be as much fun as he is now. <laughs> uh, so we know that probably won't happen, but, but realistically that I think that's the closest to my head that could. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got, I got some. Okay. For my fantasy, uh, I was going to go with the, you know, my favorite answer of all time, uh, the great colleague, but <laughs> that, that is probably, 
out of nowhere, just me. Um, but for fantasy, there was rumors about Shawn Michaels coming back. I would have loved to. I would have liked to see him come back. Mm-hmm. Just for that little pop, that extra oomph of the of he could be in WrestleMania again. Um, and as for the current, at this one, I'm I'm juggling between two. Uh, but I'm going to lean towards a uh, friend of the show, Dalton Castle. Oh, I, I'd love to see him in that ring against like gold dust or truth. Uh, just the, the, the com- comedic effect of just having him in something that big <laughs> and having, having seen him go from IWC where, where I started watch, following him to WWE seeing how he's flourished into a gigantic character. It's awesome. And I would love to see that happen one day. That'd be great. That'd be great. I probably took somebody's answer and I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, the one I thought of, it kind of comes to mind as far as like a, a signing or a debut or something like that, that, that I would really love to see. Um, not to go off of the, uh, the, the, the uh, interview that we had last week that made the sheets, so to speak. Um, but I would love to see uh, uh, Pentagon Jr. I, oh. I think he is somebody who I'm extremely invested with as a Cameron character. Cameron Cole by his right name. Oh, what was it? What was it? I, someone junior, made it. Five, junior Five Sides. Junior Five Sides is his NXT five name. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you no, know, I would love to see that cause, just because of how amazing of a character he is. He's extremely marketable. Uh, his style of wrestling and how he could interact with so many people right now in the main roster. Um, he's kind of become like a kind of cult hero right now in the wrestling world. Um, and yeah, I, I think that would be the one to go for. You All right. Um, oh, uh, yeah, Eamon, I mean, your fantasy one. Oh, fantasy? Um, <laughs> Sasha Banks, I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! That's, that's good. Okay. Damn it! That was. I, I don't want to say fantasy because it's like, oh, it's a fantasy <laughs> event. Yeah. Yeah. That makes it seem really weird. Sa- yeah, Sasha be Banks taking thing. on twenty nine guys. Yeah. Um. Anyway, guys named Eamon. Oh. 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 Yeah, I, I had my pin already and everything. Oh no! Oh, hey, can I go? Can I go on, on that note? Um, you made me pick did, a fantasy. Did anybody else? I, I I tweeted at this point, but did anybody else, like saw the Sasha Banks like kind of pre promo? Before the Royal Rumble on the network, and we're like, man, yeah. now everybody's gonna think she's gonna win the Rumble. Oh, oh, you mean like the uh, network commercial? Like, yeah, the like. Sorry, inter- I the always think Sasha Banks is gonna win the Rumble. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's gonna be world champ one day. Mike, do you have a replacement right, to um, Sasha Banks? My fantasy one, just because I think this would be amazing. Ricky Steamboat. Yeah, he's backstage. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So is Pat Patterson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> Let, let's look. Let's look at the last time Pat Patterson got into a ring, and the last time Ricky Steamboat got into a ring. All right. I know. Like yeah. Ricky Steamboat comes out and eliminates Chris Jericho. There, mm-hmm. that's perfect. That's mm-hmm. perfection for mm-hmm. me. Um, my realistic one, Ethan Carter, naturally, oh. and he comes out as Ethan Carter, and he's like a TNA defector, and he's. Oh, I like it. I it like it. So good. That is a better version of my Evan Bourne scenario. <laughs> it really is. Mm-hmm. Like he doesn't come out as Derek Bateman. There's no USA guy. It's just like E C three trouble, 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 and just the whole gimmick. Everything. Man, I can't wait for WWE to buy them. <laughs> 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 like I feel like I feel like WWE would just do the invasion angle, but the right way. With them, yeah, somehow. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. I, no, I, sorry. They would buy them, and no one would notice. <laughs> they would buy them and grab like maybe four people from their roster. It's like Facebook and Oculus Rift. You won't even know. Mm-hmm. What? That was a weird. Okay. Um, who? Who? Did, you know, the, the, all four of you have gone, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, well, wait, LB. What's up? What's yours? And then I'll, I'll go to the uh, the newbies for tonight. Well, AJ Styles was a big one. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and say Samoa Joe. Uh, I've been a fan of his for years. I'd love mm-hmm. to see him show up in the Rumble. And hey, that could happen. Mm-hmm. That's more likely now than it has ever been. I thought it was going to happen. I thought it could have happened on Sunday. Yeah, me too. Exactly. I was, yeah. I was pulling and for it. We'll have, we'll have Samoa Joe show up in the Royal Rumble. And uh, I don't know, Daniel Bryan will come back and they'll fight. And then I'll come like Starkiller Base blowing up five planets. And then I can never watch wrestling again. Um, I know Daniel Bryan's never coming back, but I wanted to make the Starkiller base reference. So, um, <laughs> hey, fantasy pick, Daniel Bryan. <laughs> wow. Perfect. Wow. I was going to say, is your fantasy one Kylo Ren? Because. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have, uh, if I have everything kind of set right, uh, one, the big board has returned. And um, as Sorg, Sorg, we have one from the chat room. Wait, 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 wait. We, we're, okay. we're, we have the people on the line I want to get to first, so we'll get to the chat oh, room. Gotcha. Okay. If you're on video, you're seeing those come up in the chat. We're, we're, we're throwing those up there as well. Matt Carlins is with us. He's got the big board in queue and also a big Power Ranger uh, uh, Zord uh, behind him protecting the big board as well. Oh, it lights up. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what's, your, what's your Royal Rumble uh, 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 fantasy and, and realistic here? Um. Okay. I know people have their own opinions, but like for me personally, a fantasy Royal Rumble entry that would blow my mind would be Kurt Angle coming back. And I know not everyone is the biggest Kurt Angle guy, but if he came back and started dropping angle stands on everybody, and it wouldn't matter who's in the ring. It wouldn't matter if Brock Lesnar's in the ring or Roman Reigns is in the ring. Angle would get in the ring and start whooping ass nonstop. There is no doubt in my mind it would be an absolute demolition. It would be freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. But I'm from Pittsburgh, so I'm biased. Uh, let me see. A lot of you guys have took have taken my realistic pick. Um, junior four sides. I was definitely leaning that way. Was that what we were going to? Son of four sides? Uh, five, four, five, four sides? Five. <laughs> junior five sides. Junior five <laughs> sides. Oh, that's right. Square junior. That's what I was thinking of. Square junior. Okay. That's Jesus. my fantasy pick is square junior. When square junior shows up in the rumble... Um, you guys are still with me? I thought that Wait, was kind of funny. Who, who's who's Square Junior? I don't know. I just made him up. Oh, okay. all right, okay. sure, um, sure. You guys are all you guys are all googling it right now, aren't you? Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Realistic one. Okada from New Japan. Jump in that ring. Rainmakers for everybody. That would kick ass. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the damnedest drop kick on the face of the earth that's all i need now now matt are you just saying that because you want the rainmaker and the bull hammer to collide in like a rocky two moment or if they just explode in the ring <laughs> I, I, it, it, that could work that could be that's a nice double <laughs> knockout spot and considering the way uh wwe sometimes treats the uh talent they bring in from the outside I could legitimately see uh, Okada and uh, Wade Barrett being uh, perceived as peers. So, yeah, it could work out okay for me. Okay. Main event in the Tokyo Dome. Um, <laughs> opening match on the main event in WWE. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. And also with us, he's uh, joining us from California. Uh, he's, 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 he's upgraded the internet. He's ready to go. And I'm trying to find where the heck I'm putting him tonight. Uh, he is Alex Cars, and we mentioned he, he's the designer of a lot of our stuff over at ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS, including, what's that on your chest? Get that, get oh, that up above is, the title. This is the Good Times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Oh, yeah. Sure. Good times. Oh, yeah. He's rocking it. Uh, he's joining us here for the uh, uh, Mayhem Mania. But do you have an answer to, your, to the big question, sir? I do, actually. And it's funny because... My two answers are both from the same company, uh, outside of WWE, obviously. Uh, my realistic one, actually, I'll go with my fantasy one. For my fantasy one would be Princess Kimberly with the Jakara Grand Championship in tow, walking down, walking down that ramp into the Royal Rumble. I, dig I it. can see it. <laughs> I dig it. Why not? Why not? Princess Kimberly and Sasha Banks final two. Yeah, there you go. And like kind of going off the joke about invasion angles, a Chikara invasion would ensue. That's my kind of fantasy booking on that. 
Okay. Uh, my more realistic one is actually the first ever Takara Grand Champion, Eddie Kingston, because he's the kind of guy who could probably fit quite well with WWE in general. I would love to see a program between him and Kevin Owens. Oh. Coming off of that. I can see that. I can see that. There's a real big brawl fest all over the place. It'd be great. Kind of like what we got with the last man standing between Ambrose and Owen on Sunday. Awesome. All right. And from the chat room, we had a few selections. Miss Matt. No, 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 Matt. He gave that before. Um, Garza uh, says similar to me uh, uh, Daniel Bryan as number 30 uh, as his fantasy which uh, not one of you guys mentioned uh, realistic Cassius O'Neill Mr. Uh, Chris Hero popping in there <laughs> that could be interesting uh, Bobby of J-Town realistic or returning from injury early like Cena Cesaro not possible okay. Mil Mertes <laughs> there you go. Uh, so let's know your what you think. Uh, hashtag WMS big question, and let's know who do you want fantasy and not so uh, in in the Royal Rumble. So uh, hey, uh, lunchbox. Hey. I know you got a bug out. You got a bug out. Uh, I know you got really important panel ride business that need, you need to attend to right now, or whatever the case may be. Thank you so much for uh, contributing the big question and hanging as usual. Yes. Yeah. No problem. You're welcome. Uh, there is uh, a panel riot business happening over at panelriot.com. Check it out at your earliest convenience. Follow us on Twitter at panel riot for uh, all the uh, dates and deets. Awesome. Awesome. Now it's time. it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time.